Hello everybody and welcome! Yes, this is not only a launch of a very huge rocket, but also of my Operation Moonsucker Part 2 series. Before we can start drilling delicious resources out of the moon around Kerbin, we have to get stuff up out there. So this here is basically everything I'm going to need to create my research operation. I don't have a special name for this rocket, it is, well, big. And we are seeing the first stage separation here, and then we're gonna separate those aerodynamic helper thingies. Look at that, it like, almost looks like one of those rings in Star Fox. Any of you remember that game back from the 90s? Anyone? Alright. Okay, and up in the front we have the squid and our rover. Well, you're gonna see in one of the future episodes what I mean by squid. First we have to get this thing, or these things rather, to the moon. And here we have our encounter with, yeah this little grey rock in space. Yes, I'm actually trying to go to the moon this time, not to Minmus, because we already did that in the previous series, and because Minmus is easy. Well, the moon is not that hard, but it's a bit harder to get stuff down there and launch it back up into space than compared to Minmus. Alright, the assembly has arrived. And yeah, we have a steady capture, a stable orbit around the moon. The reason I'm not fully circularized yet is, well, I have to scan for resources first. I have to find a suitable spot to colonize, or to at least drill. Okay, resource probe, please get out there. There we go. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, we of course need that antenna to stay in contact. And the reason I uh, kept my orbit that highly eccentric is because I wanted to uh, change my inclination for, well, not that much delta V, which as uh, compared to what I would need if I did that at a closer orbit. Right, a nice visual with Kerbin in the background, and we have now switched or changed our orbit. We are going to circularize here until we have the necessary requirements to start a surface scan, which we're doing right now. Okay, and the purple lines mean that there are a lot of ore locations on the moon, but I want some. Uh, I want one with really good concentration and, well, that's the best spot to land apparently, so I'm going to set up my base down there. Alright, once we have circularized, we're going to switch to a completely different thing. This is a bident, so to speak. Not the trident, because it doesn't have three pointy things, just two. Anyhow. And it looks like a really fat thing. Like kind of a beer keg transporter, but there is no beer in it. Alright, let's get this thing off into the air. What could it be? What's inside that fair? Well, you're going to find out in just a few seconds or minutes. Let's see. Some beauty shot of that two-seater space plane heading up to, well, space, of course. Okay, and once we've reached our maximum velocity on uh, liquid fuel only, we're going to switch to the closed cycle of the rapiers. There we go, we're now burning our oxidizer as well. And yes, we have raised our apps highly enough so we can get into a stable orbit once we're out of the atmosphere. And once we are out of the atmosphere, there we go, we can have a look at our 
cargo. It looks a bit peculiar, this little uh, bug, or whatever you want to call it. But this thing is actually necessary for transporting stuff to the target. What target, you ask? Well, maybe you remember my a bit loony video I made a few weeks back with the Giuseppe spacecraft where I put Franz on the moon. Well, not the moon, Minmus, of course. And yeah, I decided that that was too much of a hassle, so I am going to ship fuel from the moon to the France in order to refuel it once I need it, of course. All right, and now we have uh, almost docked this thing. Look at those shadows. I really like KSP when it's that gorgeous. All right, we have docked our utility vehicle. And now it's time to get that SSTO safely back onto the planet's surface. You can see me tumble here through the atmosphere and breaking for a bit. And unfortunately, it's a night landing because I miscalculated where I would end up and I didn't have enough fuel for another course correction. Basically, I ran out of oxidizer and I had to take whatever landmass I could find once I had a few passes through the upper atmosphere to air break sufficiently to get down here. Anyhow, I'm still having a little bit of liquid fuel and I hope that's enough to adjust for a few things. Where is the ground? Getting close now, getting close now, and... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yes! Whoa, okay, that heavy-duty landing gear really did its work down there. All right, that was the first installment of my Operation Moonsucker series. Stay tuned for a lot more. Until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.